Driveboard has just updated, so let's check it out. Heading into the game, you can see in the bottom left, it shows that there is another UGC, but it unlocks in around 17 and a half hours, so I'll make sure to record this once I get it. And heading into the shop, we have one new car and two other cars that were updated. Starting off with the updated cars, we have the wide body Exotica and the normal Exotica, but I don't have the wide body one, so you can only look at it from here. And here's what the updated Exotica looks like. And let me know down in the comments what you think about this. And now on to the new car, we have the Ranger. And here are the customizations for it. And at max, it has a score of 1,535 and a horsepower of 1,303. And the Ranger is able to get around 250 miles per hour. And heading into the weekly quest, we have a Tiger 1, which seems to be the Tiger, but it's like a different body kit. And we have a NASCAR. And with that, I'll show you the five parts in the USA map. And for the very first part at the bottom of the map, head over to this race right here. And you'll want to go up this building. And as you can see, they changed this path, so it's a little harder to get up the building. And right around this corner, you'll see the very first part. And now for the second part, head over to this race right here, cross country. And you'll see this new building, which I'll get to later, but you want to head up here and you'll see the second part. For this next part, head over to this delivery spot right here. And right over in this new area, you'll see the next part. And now for the second to last part, head over to the car wash right here. And right in the middle of the gas station, you'll see the fourth part. And now for the last part in the USA map, head over to this race right here, skid pad figure eight. And right in here, you'll see the last part. And now with that, let's head over to the Japan map and find the other five parts. For the first part of the Japan map, head over to this race right here, Tori Trouble. And right behind the sign, you'll see the first part. And now onto the second part, you can see that there's a whole jumble up mess of parts over here. But you want to start off with going to Takashi Dirt part. And in this building, you'll see the second part. For the third part, you can go from the same spot again, Takashi Dirt Park. And right in the tunnel, you'll see the third part. And for the next part, head over to this place right here, Yama. And back in this alley, you'll see the fourth part. And for the very last part, head over to Yama again. And right behind this building, you'll see the very last part. And now with that, let's grind the rest of these challenges and check out these new cars. And there we go, we have completed all the weekly challenges, so let's collect them and try out this new Tiger 1 and Camo Stock. And if I remember correctly, I think this is the first week where we've actually got two brand new cars. 
Starting off with the Tiger one, this is what it looks like. It's pretty similar to the normal Tiger, though. And here are the customizations for it. This is another car that has a lot of customizations and maxed out it has a score of 1216 and a horsepower of 1303 and it's able to get around 360 miles per hour and now onto the camo stock it has a stock horsepower of 734 and a horsepower of 739. And here are the customizations for it.
at max it has a score of 1312 and a horsepower of 1303 but i'm not actually sure if the horsepower is correct because if you look at the ranger it also has the same amount of horsepower and also the tiger one and the camo stock can go around 330 miles per hour but i believe this car is going to be pretty good in low restriction races and right now if you head into settings and then go into promo codes and put in the code contrast you'll get a brand new nitrous effect and here's what it looks like and now moving on to things other than cars we have brand new buildings And this building also circles all the way around here. There's also this area down here with graffiti and containers. And for the last change I'll show, if you head over to this building here, you can see that there's a new restaurant called Taco Pal. And with that being said, I think that's going to be the end of this video. Let me know down in the comments what you think about this update, and I'll see you in the next video.